Maybe like me, you ran across some cana lily plants that had gone to seed and removed the seed pods that looked like gauze from an Egyptian mummy and opened them up to find these gorgeous ebony black seeds that looked like they should adorn a pharaoh's necklace. You search the web and find a bewildering and confusing amount of various methods to germinate these notoriously difficult seeds with their incredibly hard shells. I want to share with you the step-by-step -step method that I used and that I believe is a good balance between being quick, simple, and yet having an acceptable success rate. The only special material needed with this method is medium to coarse grade sandpaper that is easily available. To allow moisture to penetrate the hard outer shell, we will need to scarify the seeds. Look closely at your seed and you will see that one end has a slightly raised bump where it was attached to the plant. This is where we will scarify the seed. Rub the small bump against sandpaper for about 30 seconds to one minute. This should be all that it takes until you see some white appear, maybe the size of a poppy seed. At that point you can stop as this is the inner seed and you do not want to damage it. Here are the seeds that I scarified. You can see the small bit of white. Be careful you don't scrape your fingers. It will hurt your fingers a little bit, so maybe do one or two seeds, rest, and then do another couple of seeds. You don't have to do many seeds, as cana lily plants grow to be quite large, and once established, you will be able to use their rhizomes to grow new plants rather than the seeds. These are the six seeds that I scarified using sandpaper. Three of them I am going to pour almost boiling water onto and the other three I will soak without having poured almost boiling water onto them. The water has stopped boiling and is no longer bubbling and I am going to cover these three seeds. And I am going to leave the seeds in the same water that I just poured over them. And these three seeds I am going to soak in just normal clean water. One week update. These are the seeds that I did not pour the hot water over. And I know it's difficult to see, but I think this one might be starting to germinate. And these other two I am not certain about. These are the three seeds that I did pour the hot water over and one of them is definitely starting to germinate and this other one looks like it may be starting to germinate. Two week update. These are the seeds that I did not pour the hot water over and as you can see there does not seem to be any root growth yet. Maybe this one over here is starting, but I'm not sure. And these are the seeds that I did pour the hot water over. And as you can see, two of the three are developing nice root systems. Three week update. The seeds that did not have the hot water poured over them did not germinate at all. And I am going to place them in my garden and maybe they will germinate of their own accord. And here are the two seeds that did germinate and I think they're large enough now to go into a starter container. I have placed them sideways and will cover them with a thin layer of soil about a quarter of an inch, one half a centimeter. And to help maintain a high humidity level, you can place some sort of a top over your starter pot or place it in a Ziploc baggie of some sort. Now I know three seeds does not make a scientific experiment, so I decided to replicate the results using five more seeds with the same scarification and almost boiling water method. Here they are after one week. You can see four out of the five seeds have germinated. Combining that with the previous set of three seeds that I originally germinated, I achieved a six out of eight success rate, 75%. Not bad at all. 
So it was my experience that this method, which I think is quite easy, really works well. And in the continuing spirit of experimentation, though this batch has only soaked for one week and there is not that much root growth, I'm placing these seeds into starter containers and once again covering them to help maintain the moisture level. Note that I kept all seeds and starter containers in an environment where it's above 75 degrees Fahrenheit, about 25 degrees Celsius. It's been only one week later and all four of the sprouts have pushed their way through the soil and are looking pretty good. So it was my experience that as soon as the seeds have produced a healthy set of roots, you can transplant them into starter containers. It's been another week and a half, and here are the seedlings from batch number two. As you can see, they are doing really, really well. And behind them, we have the first two seedlings that I germinated. They are all growing great. When the seedlings are a bit older and stronger, I will transplant a couple of them directly into my garden. I found this method of scarifying the seeds with sandpaper and then pouring almost boiling water over them and letting them soak to be an easy and effective way to germinate your canna lily seeds. If you choose to use this method, please leave a comment below and let me know how it went for you. Happy gardening! Click on the community tab for updates and previews of upcoming videos. Click on the playlist tab for videos grouped by subject. See ya!